ठीक है और इट कैन बी जी एफ ऑफ एक्स ठीक है और देर कैन ऑल्सो भी इट डजन मीन देर है थ्री फंक्शन समथिंग लाइक दिस ठीक है सो वेन देर आर मोर देन वन फंक्शन इन्वॉल्व इट मीन इट इज नॉन एज अ कॉम्पोजिट फंक्शन सो दैट टू फंक्शन आर बींग कम्बाइंड सो हाउ डू वी सॉल्व दिस कॉम्पोजिट फंक्शन so let's do an example for that one so let's say f of x equals to 5x minus 1 g of x is equals to 3x okay let's do th this one okay if i write it down as f g of 1 this is my first part okay how do we solve these type of question remember first you need to solve this part of the equation which is means g of 1 this one Okay, how do we solve g of one? Can anyone tell me the answer for the g of g of one? Three. I got three. The whole answer. Yes. What do you think? Amal and Fatma. Yes, it's three. Okay, very good. Okay. So what you did? Okay, the this value of input one goes right here in this equation. So three times one would give you an answer of three. So keep focus this box. Okay. I have to write it down as something like this now. This f would come down, and in place of this box, I would write down the answer that I got for g of one, which was three. Now I substitute this value of three in the function of f. So five bracket three minus one. I would get fourteen. Huh. Okay, let's try this one. So, if we have to solve this one first, we need to solve this part, which is f of minus two. Okay, can you solve and tell? Is it nine? Minus eleven. Is it? बिल्कुल ठीक है. Good. So five minus two minus one. So it would get minus eleven. Means you bring this g down, and in place of this box, you write it down as minus eleven. Now substitute. This is an input for the function of g. So what would be the answer? Negative thirty-three. G of minus eleven would be very good. Negative thirty-three. Anyone has any confusion so far? No. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. F g of x. How do we do this one? There is no value. There is no input actually for this one. So how do we solve this one? What you had to do, I would make a box something like this. G of x. Okay, what was g of x? Three x. Good. So in place of this box g of x, I will write it down, the equation for that function, which is three of x. Now substitute this value of three of x in the function of f. So f was five bracket three x minus one. So final answer would be fifteen x minus two. Did you understand this one? Yes. Okay. Tell me what would get for this one. Fifteen x minus three. Very good. Very good. Take it. Back to log B. Fifteen x minus three. Okay. Good. Good. So that's how you deal with a composite function. Okay. So you know you can solve it or you can make an expression through the help of. Okay. Okay. Let's try uh, inverse. Okay. Let's do it for the inverse now. How do you take an inverse of a function? G of x is equals to five x minus three, and I say that find me g inverse of x equal to five. Okay, how do you think you can solve this question? Do we have to isolate x again, like the okay, five one of three? Mm -hmm. How do we isolate x? I got twenty-two. Okay, how did you got twenty two? Uh, 
I, I did the inverse of g of x and then I did equal to 5 and I got 22. Okay, what was the inverse of the g of x? x plus 3 divided by 5. Okay, okay. One approach is right with standard. Okay, first he did found the inverse of g of x and then he, then he equated equal to y. That's completely right and it's not, there is nothing wrong with it. There is an easier approach for these kind of questions. Remember, when you break, this is G inverse of X, right? If you bring this G inverse on this side, on this side of the equal, remember, it would turn something like this. The inverse would be removed. So I can write it out something like this. Let me explain it again. What happens when you bring this G inverse on this side? On the other side of the equal, I mean, the inverse gets removed and you can write it down as G of X, GMF. Okay, now what you can do, you can simply solve G of 5. What would you get? 5 bracket 5 minus 2 or minus 3, 25 minus 3, and you would still get 22. Okay.